This video is sponsored by Intego. macOS 10.15, aka macOS Catalina, is going to be released in the not too distant future, and we already made a video highlighting some of the major features that Apple announced at WWDC 2019, but what about some of the more underrated or less talked about features? Well, in this video, we're going to do exactly that and go over some macOS Catalina features that you might not know about. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. Inside of the Notes app, you now have a few new share options, including the ability to share an entire folder with a person as opposed to just a single note. There are also new share permissions, giving you the ability to toggle between view only or allowing other users to make changes to your notes. macOS Catalina now offers users the ability to easily multitask with two apps side by side by hovering over the green plus button on any window and selecting between tile window to the left or right, and then selecting another opened application to complete the multitasking function. Signing documents on a MacBook or with an external trackpad is a really nice feature, but what if you don't have access to a trackpad, but you still want a nice signature? Well, macOS Catalina gives you the ability to use a nearby iPhone or iPad to write out your signature with your finger or Apple Pencil. Simply select the markup menu inside of Preview, then select the Signature button and then Create Signature. From here, you'll see the new iPhone or iPad option, and once the signature is complete, it will automatically be available to use on your Mac. The Mail app finally brings over a popular new feature from iOS that allows users to one-click unsubscribe from unwanted email subscriptions. Near the top of a message, you'll see the phrase, this message is from a mailing list, with an unsubscribe option right next to it. In Safari, you can now enter picture-in-picture picture by simply long-pressing the sound icon that will appear in the navigation bar whenever Safari detects audio is playing from a video on any web page. Speaking of picture-in-picture, picture, this feature is also finally available inside of QuickTime and can be accessed by clicking the picture-in-picture picture icon in the navigation controller. Before we get into our next feature, I do want to give you more information about today's sponsor, Intego. Intego has been keeping Macs safe since 1997, so it's no surprise that they're one of the leaders in Mac security. Intego's Mac Premium Bundle X9 has five powerful tools to keep your Mac safe, secure, and protected from internet threats. This includes the popular antivirus program Virus Barrier, which blocks all varieties of adware, spyware, and malware from infecting your Mac. This premium bundle also includes useful programs like Net Barrier, a two-way firewall that not only prevents incoming attacks on your network, it can also alert you when apps on your Mac try to phone home and potentially violate your privacy. Users will also get personal backup to protect your data, Content Barrier to protect your family, and Mac Washing Machine to maintain free disk space and organize your Mac. For more information on Intego and to receive a 60% discount on your purchase, click on the link in the description below. MacOS Mojave introduced a new system-wide dark mode, but was only able to be turned on or off manually. MacOS Catalina gives users a new auto option that will switch between light and dark modes automatically throughout the day. This is located inside of the General tab in the System Preferences app. One of the major changes coming to macOS Catalina is the removal of iTunes in favor of three applications that will cover the main functions of iTunes like music, TV, and podcasts. But iTunes also handled device synchronization and management between your iOS devices and your Mac. So as a refresher, this feature will now be moved right into your Finder. Managing your Apple ID was also done through iTunes, but will now be much more conveniently moved to the System Preferences application. So at the very top of the app, you'll see your name and profile picture, as well as options to manage Apple ID and iCloud settings. This, in my opinion, is a much more streamlined way to manage your accounts. Speaking of iCloud, macOS Catalina adds a couple of new options that are really useful, like being able to share entire folders with another user by simply right-clicking on any folder in iCloud Drive and selecting the Share option. There's also a new feature that allows you to remove downloads from your Mac's local drive without actually deleting the file from iCloud. To do this, simply right-click on the file and select Remove Download. You'll instantly see the iCloud icon pop up next to the file, signifying that the file is now only in iCloud and not on your local machine. So let us know your thoughts on these new macOS Catalina features in the comment section down below, and be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more macOS Catalina coverage coming soon. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.